Hello again our most valid student. My name is Confident. Welcome again to our revision session and I'm still looking at the mathematics basics and it's mainly for those students who are doing their mathematics N1 but also for those who are doing their grade 9, grade 10 and anyone who wants to lay a good foundation on their mathematics this is the right platform. Mainly we are looking at algebra. If your algebra is fine then your mathematics also starts improving so let us look at this question it says you need to fully factorize the following expression so the key word there is factorize but in as much as you factorize you need to follow what is important fully meaning don't do it in parts but you need to go all the way to the end so let us look at this question here if i'm to fully factorize that so the first things first, what is to factorize is to group things according to uh, how common they are. So it's more like um, there are different techniques that you have to use and there are also different kind of factorizations that you can perform. But whenever you are given this uh, kind of a problem, first things to, uh, to look at is how many terms are here. We have got one, two, three and four terms. Now the moment I have four terms, the procedure or the method that I must use is to factorize by grouping. All right. So not only are you looking for a common term, but you are also going to group. So the first part is you can take your first two here and look at your last two and you group them together. So let us try that. So what I'm saying is we can just do this, put a bracket and put a bracket like that. But of course, that is not uh, the answer, but that is what we mean by grouping to say, look at the first two, ask yourself what is common, look at the second two, what is of what is common. So let's look, at, let's look at the two items here to say I've got 7a plus 14. Now the question is what is common between these two terms? Uh, the first thing is the numbers 7 and 14. Obviously, you, can, you know that 7 can go into 14 two times. So you can actually see if I say 7a plus 7 times 2. So you can see that I'm repeating the 7. So 7 is common here to say if I take out the 7, what am I doing? When I'm taking out the 7, it's more like I'm dividing by that 7 by that 7. Why am I taking out? Because it is common. So what I'm left with is I'm left, if I cancel there, you see that a is remaining. 7 into 14 it goes two times so it's more like that 7 and that 7 is the one that is out you see you're left with a and 2 so it's a plus 2 so that is the first thing that you are identifying to say if i were to open a bracket i'm going to have 7 here equal to and then i will have a plus 2 remember i can still go back to multiply 7 times a i'll get 7a and 7 times 2 it will give me back that number 14 the next part that i need to do is to focus now on the second item and the second two items is look at this it's minus 2a i mean minus 2b minus a b now first thing is forget about these two negatives i know they are meant to confuse but don't worry about them let's just ignore them and focus on first thing is the numbers is there anything common with the numbers again like previously it was 7 and 14 but now it is 2 and there is a hidden one there so there is nothing common there the only number is just a 1 so forget about the numbers let's look at the letters or the variables you will notice that you have a b and you have a b so it means b is common here so if i take out the b the moment i'm taking it out i must introduce a bracket that's what it means to say you're factorizing you're taking it out so as i said when you're taking something out it's like you're dividing by that particular item so since i took out b i will divide by b here i will divide by b there you, if you cancel out that b you can see that minus 2 is remaining here and then there is the negative again there if you cancel out the b here the a is remaining now look at what we have in the brackets i have got b which is minus 2 minus a but you need to work towards this kind of the bracket so here whatever you do 
always look at the bracket that you came up with first when you're looking at factorizing by grouping because you need to match the brackets but we have got minus 2 minus a is two negatives if i take out a negative here let me first do this if i want to take out a negative so b is positive it will become minus b where am i taking it i'm taking this negative out but the moment i take that negative out also that negative goes out or the simpler way of doing it if i don't want to violate the mathematics rules if this becomes from positive to negative whatever is inside the bracket you just interchange the signs if it was negative it becomes positive 2 if it was negative it becomes positive a so you see that what i have now is minus b now 2 plus a i can actually write it from the same a kind of bracket which is a plus 2 uh, but let me just leave it like that so what i'll do is i come here and say from this part i have got minus b 2 plus a look at this this is a plus 2 this is 2 plus a you can actually rewrite to say this is 7 a plus 2 and then minus b i can also write it now as a plus 2 you see that now, as I said, the key thing is to match the brackets. If the brackets are matching, you have done what is the most important part uh, of factorizing by grouping. So what you do is you are going to take that bracket, which is your A plus 2. Now, look what you have outside the brackets. You have got that 7 and you have got that minus B. So you open a bracket and you write 7 with the sign minus B. This is then the final answer or what you mean to say you factorized by grouping. Also, if you want to test it, you can test that. How can you test that? What you do, you choose any two values that you want of A and B. So if we go for test, just to check if ever you did the right uh, uh, factorization. So what you say is, you can say maybe let my A become 5 and my B become six i'm just choosing any two random numbers so when they where there is a here i put it a five remember you must introduce a bracket there or you put a times there and then where there is b i put a six where there is a it's a five where there is b it's a six i'm just uh let me just remove uh the other part so that i don't confuse those one and two and three and four so what am i doing then remember i said i want to test if the answer matches on top and the answer answer matches at the bottom then it becomes correct so it's seven bracket five plus 14. okay let's do this so that you don't uh, get confused let me erase everything here as i said where there is our a here we're going to put a five where there is our B here, we're going to put 6. Where there is A here, we put 5. And then B again, we put 6. I hope you see what I'm doing. Again, just to go ahead of myself, where there is A here, you put a 5. Where there is B here, you put a 6. We want to get the same answer here with the same answer there. So let me do that again. So what I'll have, I'll say 7, 5, and then plus 14 minus 2 6 or into 6 minus uh, 5 into 6 see what i'm doing there my answer there is 7 so remember i got a 7 there let's do the final answer it's 5 brackets 2 sorry about that it's 5 plus 2 close the bracket and then it's 7 minus 6 Let's see if I'm getting a 7. It also gives me a 7. So if I get a 7 here and I get a 7 here, it can be any number, guys, as long as they match. If they are matching, it means your simplification from here and then to come back to this answer that you have here, you can actually be rest assured that that factorization is correct. Therefore, your answer here becomes A plus 2 and 7 minus b of course there are many ways of, of proving it whereby you multiply that 
you multiply that you multiply that to expand to go back to that but i was trying trying to show you an alternative way of proving that so guys this is how you can solve such a question but the question is is it the only method of solving it no there are many ways you could have used to solve it but i chose just to uh, uh use the direct um grouping from those terms some can say what if an, uh, i choose another method uh, of grouping you can choose maybe rearrange these items whereby look at this 7a you can follow with that item which is minus a b and then follow with that plus 14 b i mean plus 14 minus 2 b you see this this is a rearrangement you started with that as your one now this is your term two this is your term three this is your term four this is also allowed you take your first two a i said you are dividing here you left with seven there you left with minus b are you seeing that now in the second one you have got take a plus 14 and 2 2 is common because 2 can go into 14 2 into 14 it's 7 now the 2 will cancel 2 to have minus b look at this same brackets 7 minus b 7 minus b so you've got 7 minus b and then the other outside the brackets you have got what a plus 2 see same answer that we got previously but just that it's uh, done in a different way uh, with a different um, same method but different arrangement of these items so guys different ways different methods but at the end of the day the answer is the same i hope guys this is of benefit to you remember to subscribe to our channel remember to like remember to press um, the notification bell so that you're notified every time we post new videos thank you